Dr. Blake Staker with Westside Medical. Today we're going to talk about lumbar or low back stability and what creates it. Um, most people first understand that like, your, your muscles, their strength they possess, creates stability, like how it pulls on the, the vertebra. But also stability is a function of the tension in the fascia. And what fascia is, fascia, if you visualize like a, like a weight belt, like surrounding these hips, the fascia is what the muscles pull on to create that force to stabilize. And so if you look back here, we talk about the deep erector muscles. The deep erector muscles, they run from the sacrum into this groove right through here, and they have attachments here, and it goes up these different vertebra. Uh, deep erector muscles have uh, two functions. The one function is, like due to their attachment, it's going to prevent anterior shearing of the vertebra. And so the more strength you have in these erector muscles here, the greater shearing you're able to, to, to withstand. So that's one aspect of stability. Another aspect we're talking about with the fascia is the muscle size itself is going to create tension in the fascia. So if you visualize these muscles through here, if it's like, like a balloon, the larger the balloon, the more tension it's going to exert. So just the, the size alone creates tension through this fascia, which is going to cause stability in the lumbar spine. So if we look at this book right here, Mechanical Low Back Pain by James Porterfield, it really touches well on that subject. So when we talk about the fascia, the fascia we're talking about is the thoracolumbar fascia. So this is the back of uh, a cadaver. And the fascia is the shiny material once you um, peel back the, the, the skin tissues. And so when you create tension in this fascia, that's going to pull everything tight, causing stability. Here's a cross section where this here is your lumbar vertebra. This is the, the tip of the spinous process. So this would be somebody's back. And so these are the deep erector muscles. If you look at somebody um, from, the, from behind, you see, like right here is where you see like their, like their little their spinous processes, and then you see this like little sulcus in these little mounds. So in the very low back, those mounds, you see the actual muscle bellies of the deep erectors. And so with the, the deep erectors here, the size of it creates a pressure, and it pulls on this fascia. And so these here, um, these are your, your abdominal muscles, and your quadratus lumborum, and when it pulls on that, it acts as a weight belt. So when we look at this diagram here, this is just like a, an artist's rendition of, of a tent. And so these would be like the guide wires, and this is the post exerting tension here. And this post would be the low back muscles, and the tension would be the fascia. So you have growth in those low back muscles. Once again, it creates tension through there, leading to stability. Now in our clinic, what we do for stability, we want to stimulate growth in the multifidus or the deep erector muscles. And how we do that is we like to use Westside Medical's Reverse Hyper. And we like this for the, the growth in these deep erectors because it takes the muscle through its full range of motion and it does that through posterior hip rotation. So the hips drop down it takes these muscles through that full range of motion and that's what you need to create this muscle growth here that causes tension in the fascia as well as when you add the strength it prevents shearing in these vertebra. So let me demonstrate here. So this is the reverse hyper. To have patients get up onto we have them step on one peg first. They have to step on the second peg. We like to have their pivot point right around the femur head, and so they just hinge at the hips and grab hold of the pegs. And when, when they're grabbing hold, we want to make sure they, they keep their lats tight and abdominal brace. So once in their position, you have them just go through that range of motion, just nice and easy. So there's your posterior hip rotation. It causes that full range of motion in those deep erectors, and then you contract them. And so you have our patients do probably about 10 to 15 reps. 
probably about four to five sets to really stimulate the hypertrophy or the muscle growth in those muscles that cause them to be stronger, as well as the overall size puts tension in the fascia, creating lumbar stability. So for more on this table here, visit us at westside-medical.com or like us on Facebook.